Howdy y'all, how are y'all doing? Uh, welcome back uh, to just me playing Love, Kami, Useless Goddess. This is fucking part 5? I think it's part 5, yeah. So, I believe last time when we were playing, when I was playing, I think we talked with Micah more and got to know her more and then um, something about a, a tree and yeah. That's all I can remember. <laughs> it's been such a long time since I last played. Uh, but yeah, let's play. So, I oh we also bought them new clothes. We bought the the rest of the, the two goddesses new clothes. So, Akane said, "Ooh, we got idols coming to town, and there's gonna be a festival. That'll be fun." <laughs> Yeah, my mom tells me that too. By now, I used to, just, I was used to seeing Akani lying on the floor reading flyers while Inori tried to lecture her. It had worried me at first, but now it was just part of our everyday routine. They were settling in just fine. Inori would usually have have let it slide, but not today. Oh, sh I actually pre-clicked it. Akane reluctantly refrained from starting a fight and simply walked out of the room. He was starting to take notice of Inori's instructions. That was all well and good, but lately I started to notice a hint of irritation in Akane's behavior. Maybe she was just keeping her rage bottled up. It didn't look that way, but still. Nori, seems like you're being a little harder on her than usual. Okay, wow. Reasonable. Thinking over her actions, Nori's face clouded over. Uh, is something wrong? So that's how it was. Inori must have been worried that time we might run out of time. Having those fears confirmed by her boss couldn't have helped. That's understandable, but we have to stay calm. Trying to rush things won't get us anywhere. There you go, that's wife material right there. She was right about one thing though, reaching our goal by the deadline was going to be tight. But Akani's rehabilitation was coming along smoothly. Felt there was no need to hurry. Oh shit, the transition. What? Akane dashed back into the room and switched to the TV to show to a show she wanted to watch. Mori, seems like you're being a little harder on her than usual. My hand froze halfway to the door when I heard Sho's voice. Uh, wait, what? What the hell's going on? My hand froze halfway to the door when I heard Sho's voice. Isn't that... Are we in the perspective of Sho already? I thought Inori was acting weird. She doesn't usually get so huffy over little things, so there was actually a reason behind it all. Uh, is something wrong? Oh, so we're in the point of Akane. This is Akane's view. Pick up the pace? What was that supposed to mean? I've been holding myself back so much lately. What more did they want? 
こんな私は Is she gonna like leave the house or some shit like that? Doing my best. I wanted to tell them that. Before I knew it, I was heading back to my room. Aw, oh, she couldn't watch the TV. It was a day after Inori had spoken to her boss. Morning! So. What's up? Inori and Maiko were around like always. The dining table was all laid out ready for us to begin breakfast. Something was different this morning though. Where's Akane? Everyone else was in their usual seats, but there was no sign of Akane. Sure, she slept in sometimes, but she never missed a meal before. Maybe. I'll go. Do you want me to check? She's been getting up pretty early these days. Show. Nori stood up, stood, and was about to leave the room. Wait up, I'll go with you. I had a feeling if I left the two of them alone, things would get degenerate into one of their usual arguments. Show! Hey, Akane! It's breakfast. Wait, it's morning. Breakfast is ready. I reached Akane's door and called out to her. I had to knock and yell several times before she opened up the door. Cool, you're awake like I said. Breakfast is ready. Go get dressed. Shit. Akane? She was normally so enthusiastic about food. Somehow this didn't bode well. Nori seemed to pick up on my concerns and stepped forward. Such a sleepy state of being doesn't do you credit. It was the kind of thing Inori said all the time, but on hearing it, Akane's expression turned sour. Shit. Hell no, man. Her tone was harsh, completely different from her usual manner. Inori... <laughs> I don't know, this, uh, this face just made me. <laughs> Inori looked shook, but she didn't back down. Unfortunately... Bouncing back from the surprise, Inori launched into lecture mode. Shit, alright. I was stunned into silence. Shut your mouth! Kinda awkward. <laughs> oh shit. Akane slammed her door shut, bringing an up abrupt end to the conversation. All Inori and I could do was stand there, trying to vain to process it all. Process it all. We all get those times when we're really pissed off. I spent the rest of the day spacing out in my room, wishing the uneasy atmosphere would lift somehow. Akane? 
still hadn't come out of her room. I would knocked on her door and again and again, even tried luring her out with her favorite food all to no avail. I had an idea as to why she was acting this way. Maybe all her training was finally taking its toll. Maybe she just had run out of patience. Even so, she looked like she was really enjoying it. Hane sure complained a lot, but she seemed so full of life during these past couple of weeks. Sure, the road to becoming an idol wasn't easy. There were all kinds of obstacles to overcome. But Akane had gone through it all with a smile. Couldn't bring myself to think of it, of that as anything but genuine. What am I supposed to do? I tried to come up with solutions, but before I knew it, the sun had gone down and I hadn't come up with anything. A few days had passed. After Akane lost interest in the project, we still hadn't come up with any plans to help deal with the situation. Connie eventually came out of her room, but she still looked gloomy. She'd reverted back to her old routine of avoiding anything that she considered too much trouble. Inori was looking down. Apparently, she blamed herself for all of this. If we even tried asking Akane what was wrong, she'd get mad right away and cause a blackout. That's fucking rude. <sighs> Akane lay napping on the porch, enjoying the sunshine, huh? Her clothes had gotten tangled up, and her stomach was on show. Come on, Akane, you're gonna catch a cold if you sleep out here. Try to shake her awake, but it was no good. Okay, fine, if that's how it is. I got the futon cover from my room, dragged it over the slumbering goddess, and sat down beside her. Man, what the fuck, man? So... Dragged the futon out to the open. She stirred and rubbed her eyes and sat up. Did I wake you? Yeah, it may be warm out now, but I don't want you catching a cold later. I felt relaxed as I watched Akane blush lightly and wrap the futon around herself. Don't get shy on me now. You sleep in front of me all the time. Okay. Akane squirmed around, repositioning herself so her head was resting on top of my knees. <laughs> That's just... And why is your head in my lap now? On my lap, not in my lap. Okay. Very uncomfortable. I guess not. Ani settled down, her breathing calm and steady. It, dot 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 mm. dot 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 neither of us spoke a word the only sound was the ticking of the clock in the living room nee. so. what is it Atashi... Sa. Nanda. yeah I, I knew that already what about it So? Just when she was about to say something important, she sank into an awkward silence. I'm kind of relieved. I haven't been able to talk to you much lately. I'm happy when you're telling me what you're thinking, even if it is just random tidbits like that. Seriously, I was starting to think you hated me. Finally got to hear a little of Akani's true feelings. 
Hard to describe how happy that made me. <laughs> I kinda did. Uh, I never do that. <laughs> Neither would Inori. Of course, she's the one who stuck by you the longest, isn't she? I could tell now, Akane really had changed since I first met her. As for why she'd been acting this way lately, she must have had her own reasons, something on her mind. We're all friends here. That's never gonna change. That's never going to change. I patted Akani on the head. She immediately blushed and turned away. This is a better Akani. I like this. She's more reformed. You know, more. Uh, I don't know how to say it. More reasonable. Should I stop? <laughs> Yeah. Whenever this, when they talk about like patting their heads, I don't really like it. It's kind of, kind of weird. <laughs> Thanks. I'll take you up on that offer. Sure. We spent the rest of the afternoon quietly basking in the warm sunshine. That night, I called another meeting, by which I meant I talked to Inori and Micah. I need your help with Akane. Of course, having you in our corner would make a huge difference. Micah could, make, could provide a fresh set of eyes, maybe some new ideas. The same went for Inori. Right now, I was stumped, but perhaps the three of us could think of something together. In the previous sentence, they talked something about 12. Micah just said Juni, which means 12, I think. So, I don't know why the... The text before didn't say anything about 12, but fuck it. Uh, for what it's worth, I'll do anything I can to help Akane. So thanks to Inori's sense of responsibility and Micah's sense of duty, I had my team ready. Thanks both of you. I feel better about this already. So I spoke to Akane this afternoon. I told him about the hint of Akane's true feelings I picked up on. <laughs> Nori sounded relieved. She must have been worried that she'd gone too far and seriously offended Akane. Seems that way. Any ideas how we can get her, motiv her motivation back? I just want her to be happy like she was before. And I really did. Nori was on my side, that was good. That's where I need your help. I just wish we had a more definite place to start. Okay, wondering and wishing didn't do us a lot of good. We both groaned in frustration. Micah finally chimed in. Who knows? She always enjoyed her practice so much, it's hard to believe she really got bored of it. What do you mean? Huh? You have a plan? What is it? What you getting at with the book script? Spit, Spit that, that shit, shit out, out, man! Where was she going with this? Micah stood up and left the room. She was the 
she was only gone a couple of minutes. Coming back in, she thrust some kind of paper at me. What's all this got to do with... Okay, I ran my eyes over the flyer. It had information about an upcoming festival that was going to be held in the park. One item in particular stood out. A s performance by local idols. Apparently a number of idols with ties to Kanagi were going to get together for a concert. Right, I remembered it now. Very nice, Micah. No, I think you're right. Kane would never choose to read anything she found boring. Not the Akane I knew. We were all in agreement. The festival and concert was tomorrow. There, was, there had to be some way we could use this. Oh hey Micah, why did you keep this? What? What the hell? Wait. Question just popped into my head. Wait, what the hell was that? I think that was like a bunch of dialogue. I'm not too sure what the hell was that. It seemed to make Michael a little uncomfortable though. Oh. She turned away as a blush started to spread across her face. I guess Akane wasn't the only idol fan in this house. Wait, do girls really like like Japanese idols? That's uh that's very interesting. I mostly seen as like a like mostly males who love Japanese idols. But then again there are like male Japanese idols too, so that makes sense. Okay. Encouraged by Inori's enthusiasm, we adopted Micah's plan. Okay, I'll invite her to the concert. Thanks for your help. Exactly. Thank you, Inori. You too, Micah. I think this could work out. Having done her part, Micah got up and left. No guarantee, but it could provide the little spark we need to get things moving again. Would this be the key to motivating Akane? Who knows? It was better than sitting around doing nothing. Yep. I rushed off to go find Akane. I stood outside Akane's room, psyching myself up to invite her to the concert. Okay, here we go. A deep breath and knocked. Who is it? It's me. Do you have a minute? Bet you she's dancing inside or something. Are you free tomorrow? Do you want to go somewhere with me then? I decided to press on before Akani had a chance to suspect I had some kind of ulterior, mo ulterior motive. Take a look at this. I handed her the flyer. I was just thinking, you haven't been outside in a while. Go to the concert, get some fresh air. It, w it could be fun, right? Akane stared blankly at the flyer. You don't want to? Okay. 
<laughs> That's it then. Don't read it too much. Uh, it's a festival. There was all kinds of fun stuff we could do there. Plus, I'd be a little embarrassed to go see that kind of concert myself. I'd be a lot more comfortable if I had some company. <laughs> yeah? Akane hesitated for a minute, then nodded and looked sh me looked me straight in the eye. Okay. Mm. Sweet. Awesome, thanks, Akane. The door closed behind her and I heaved a sigh of relief. At least we knew Akane would be at the concert. The rest is up to me. Tomorrow was going to be a big day. Dude, why the hell doesn't Sho go to school? That's so weird. There's like a Japanese term for people like Sho where they stay inside all day. I know because I'm kind of one of them right now after I lost my job. Uh, but yeah, it's like, I think it's a hikiki, hiki, something hikikomori or whatever. I'm pronouncing that shit wrong, but uh, it's basically like a hermit. Someone who lives all day inside. I'm assuming that's basically Sho because not going to school and he only knows Micah and like those two chicks right now but aside from them from that uh, the next day I was ready to ask Akane some serious questions with a plan already in my mind the two of us made our way to Kanagi's only public park <laughs> events like this are all about the only time you see the park so full most days it was home to only a few joggers or old people walking their dogs Today, though, the entire park was jam-packed with all kinds of people. The area around the stage was especially lively. Yeah. My first time seeing something live, too. It's totally different from seeing it on TV, huh? Bonnie's eyes darted around as if it to take and everything all at once. I had a feeling the bustling festival atmosphere would appeal to her. There's still time before it starts. Wanna look around? Okay, I'm coming. Slow down. Right? Even local idols are really something. We sat on a bench watching the crowds go by and eating fries. We bought at one of the food stands. Yeah. And it's got a divine idol tending shop. That's pretty hard to beat. I looked back at the long line of people we just left behind. Still showed no signs of slowing. One of the idols were making was making an early appearance helping out at the food stalls as some part of some kind of publicity stunt. He's generating buzz even before the show starts, so I'm impressed. Okay. Kane reached for a fry. Her hand was trembling slightly. <laughs> Idols, you mean? Hani's eyes were still fixed on the stall in its long line. You could see the idol from our spot. She was smiling, taking orders, shaking hands. Her face didn't show the slightest sign of stress. That's all acting right there. Well, that's okay, isn't it? Seeing Akane start to get downhearted, I found myself giving her some words of encouragement. You are who you are. You're not her. You don't need to try to be someone else. You're at your best when you're just being yourself. So... 
Yeah, just take your time. Do things at your own pace. Live for yourself. Yep. Still wanted to help reform Akane, but not if it meant lumping all the stress on her and making her live up to unrealistic expectations. Akane chewed over my words. I did my best to be patient and let her come up with a reply in her own time. Oh damn, that was quick. Thank you all for coming today. Announcement blared out from the speakers placed all around the park. It was finally time for the concert. Did you say something, Akane? Okay, sure, we better hurry. The announcement drowned out whatever she was about to say, so I just followed her to the stage. Most of the seats were already full by the time we got there. Oh man, if we only came a little earlier. Er. <laughs> the people that were already there were no doubt fans of the idols performing. They already had flags, banners, and glow sticks, primed and ready to start cheering. Oh, oops, my bad. I, I keep pre-pressing it. Um, but basically she just said, hurry up, hurry up, in Japanese. And I said, okay. Sho says, okay, I'm coming. Kane pretty much dragged me to the spot she found. They weren't exactly the best seats in the house, but we could see the stage just fine. Well, we lucked out. I wouldn't want to stand the whole time in the middle of the crowd like this. Very nice, Akane. Very nice. Yeah, you did good. For sure. Um, but yeah, 30 minutes passed. This... This episode was kind of more mellow and more dramatic, I guess, because of uh, that whole problem with Lakani losing motivation. But yeah, uh, thank you again for watching this episode of just me playing Love Kami. As always, if you have any recommendations, let me know. Um, but yeah, thank you again for watching, and I'll, I'll just leave it off here. Cheers!